One of humanity's greatest achievements to date has been sending the Voyager spacecrafts beyond the bounds of our solar system. The photos sent back still have astronomers amazed. What insane things did the two Voyager spacecrafts find on their journeys? You're watching Matter, and today we are looking at some of the best photos from the Voyager missions that will keep you up at night. Voyager 1 and 2's journeys. In the most ambitious mission of that time, NASA launched the two Voyager spacecrafts in 1997 with the goal of exploring the solar system in a way never seen before. Visiting the outer four planets, the two Voyager crafts have spent the past 45 years flying through our solar system before Voyager 1 finally broke through the boundary of our planetary system to interstellar space in 2012, with Voyager 2 following suit in 2018. In an astounding show of human achievement, Voyager 1 is currently moving at speeds over 61,000 kilometers an hour and is over 23.2 billion kilometers from Earth, while Voyager 2 is traveling over 55,000 kilometers an hour at a distance of nearly 20 billion kilometers away. During their long travels, the crafts captured and sent back images of some of our neighboring planets closer than any human craft has before. Jupiter and its moons. The first planetary visit for both crafts was the fifth planet in our solar system, the gaseous giant Jupiter. They were able to take extremely detailed images of Jupiter's surface, including its infamous Great Red Spot, as well as shots of a few of Jupiter's 79 moons. The Great Red Spot is an anticyclone that is around 16,000 kilometers in diameter, which makes it so large that three Earths can fit into it comfortably with room to spare. Many of these pictures gathered by Voyager are compositions of multiple black and white shots taken through different color filters. Jupiter's moon, Io. Jupiter is known to have at least 79 moons, including the largest moon in our solar system, Ganymede. But Voyager visited another moon that orbits around Jupiter that caught the eyes of astronomers for a different reason. Jupiter's moon, named Io, is only its third largest moon slightly larger than our own, but it's an extremely active place. Io was where the first volcanoes outside of Earth were found, and it's home to over 400 volcanoes on its surface. These volcanoes spew matter kilometers into the sky, giving Voyager a show as it flew by. The Voyager crafts gave us great insight into Jupiter and its satellites. What else is hiding within this gas giant waiting for us to find? Saturn with its rings. After Jupiter, both crafts made their way to Saturn to pay a visit and relay some fantastically detailed images of its swirling surface. Voyager also gave us striking images of Saturn from a variety of angles. As it passed by, it captured this image of the planetary body, casting an eerie shadow over the length of its rings. Saturn may be best known for its rings, which are by far the most prominent planetary rings in our solar system. They reach out over 273,000 kilometers in diameter, but just over 100 meters thick. False Color Rings in addition to seeing the planet in its natural colors, the Voyager crafts were also able to take false color images of the surface and rings, which can help astronomers pick up on features that remained hidden in other images. With these false color images, scientists were able to discover that Saturn's rings are less homogeneous than they originally thought. They found many distinct layers that formed from different materials and at different times since the planet's formation. It also sheds light on the fact that these rings are not perfect circles. There are variations in the rings. They wobble in some areas, and astronomers found what appear to be spokes streaking through the rings. Thick Haze over Titan During Voyager 1's trip to Saturn, it was able to capture this image of its large moon, Titan, 
which shows a layer of thick, complex hydrocarbons above the surface of the moon. This means there could be lakes of liquid ethane and other chemicals that form a type of organic soup similar to what scientists believe Earth had prior to life forming. But with the harsh, cold temperatures reaching 300 below zero, some believe certain factors are missing from the recipe for life. Could this moon hold more clues to what is needed for life to form on distant worlds? Uranus. After Saturn, Voyager 1 started to make its way to the edge of our solar system, while Voyager 2 had two more stops to make before it finished its mission. Voyager 2 went on to visit Uranus and sent back images of the blue-green icy giant where it came within 82,000 kilometers of its surface. The craft was the first human-made object to visit the seventh planet in our solar system. It's been known for a while that Uranus is tilted on its axis, but Voyager 2 was able to take readings that showed scientists that the planet's magnetic field is also severely tilted at a degree of 59 degrees from the axis of rotation. This tilting causes Uranus to have a magnetic field that varies in strength up to 10 times over. Can further study of this magnetic field reveal more about this planet and its past? Miranda, aka Frankenstein's Moon. Astronomers were able to receive images of the smallest and last of Uranus's moons discovered from Earth, Miranda. Originally discovered in 1984, Miranda often goes by the nickname Frankenstein's Moon because of its strange patchwork surface. Not only was Voyager able to image Miranda, it also was able to detect an additional 10 new moons that were previously unknown. We now know that there are at least 27 moons orbiting around Uranus. In addition to finding new moons and collecting images of them, Voyager 2 was able to discover two additional rings that brought the count of known planetary rings of Uranus up to 11. Neptune. The last planet that Voyager 2 paid a visit to is the eighth and maybe final planet in our solar system, Neptune. During its visit, Voyager was able to capture images and take readings from the great dark spot on Neptune's surface, which is home to a massive storm with the fastest planetary winds ever recorded in our solar system at speeds of over 2,400 kilometers an hour. This dark spot is not a permanent feature of Neptune and was missing from its surface during an investigation in the 1990s. The craft was also able to document four new planetary rings of Neptune, bringing the known total of rings to five. Could Triton have life? It also captured images of the largest of Neptune's 14 moons, Triton, and its rocky, craggy surface. Triton is one of the few moons in our solar system that is still active with a rock and metal core surrounded by an icy surface. Scientists believe that water may exist on this moon, and due to its active core, there may be enough thermal activity for water to exist in liquid form on its surface. Some take this to mean that Triton may be able to support some form of life if it was able to overcome Neptune's massive magnetosphere that is harmful to most forms of life. Will astronomers send a craft back to visit this distant neighbor again to probe it further and find out what is happening on Triton's surface? The Pale Blue Dot Perhaps the most breathtaking and powerful image coming from Voyager 1 was taken when the craft was 6 billion kilometers from the sun. In this image, we can see a small blue dot just above and to the right of the center. This blue dot is Earth. All of the animals, people, cultures, everything that has ever existed on Earth resides within that tiny blue dot. Spinning around a solar system in a small corner of the galaxy among hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. This picture is the most distant picture of Earth we have and helps us comprehend the vastness of the universe we exist in. 
The Voyager spacecrafts have contributed so much more to our understanding of our solar system and universe than anyone was expecting them to. And with their current battery levels, they still have a number of years to send more information on their journey through interstellar space. What are your favorite accomplishments made by the World Space Agencies? Thanks for watching. See you next time on Matter.